Hi everybody, I'm Benjamin and welcome to another edition of the English of Everything. And today's lesson we're going to be talking about describing things. Because in life you need to be able to describe things, describe what you're looking at, describe what you're talking about. And the more detail you can describe things, the better it is. The more people understand you and the better, uh, the, the more information you can give. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at four pictures today, four very different pictures, and we're going to describe them in some detail, and we're going to get some vocabulary from it, okay? So, we're going to start with the first picture, and I'm going to turn the camera around. I have these pictures on my computer, and they're just four random pictures I've found. So, let me turn it around. And the first picture we have is of the artist Salvador Dali. And this picture is a black and white picture. In the picture you can see that he is swimming in some water and he has his head above the water or he has his head out of the water. He has long black hair which is not straight or it's not curly. It's a little bit wavy. So wavy is in, in between curly and straight. Okay, He has a long thin moustache that you can see here and at the end of his moustache he has two bows bow ties we can call this okay, he has crazy wild eyes and he's staring at the person taking the photograph okay you can see things like he has shadow down here and under his nose shadow and this is where the light comes from above and it causes shadow underneath him. Okay, In the water you can see some ripples. So the water is not flat, it is rippling. So there are some ripples in the water. Okay, this is everything for this picture. So let's look at the second picture. Okay, a very different picture now. And this is a colour picture. Before with Salvador Dali it was black and white. And now we have a colour picture. And it's of an animal, and this animal is called a cheetah. It's a very, it's a cat, it's a big cat, and it lives in Africa, and it runs very, very fast. So we're going to describe the cheetah first. And the cheetah, all over its body, has thousands of spots. Spots. And this is his tail, or her, it might be a girl. This is his or her tail. And it looks like it has stripes on, but actually these are spots as well. Okay, the cheetah is standing on top of a rock, and the rock is grey and very hard. Okay, sometimes you call it stone as well. And the cheetah looks like she is concentrating very hard, maybe looking at something she wants to chase and eat. In the background of the picture, there are three trees. One, two, three. But they are out of focus, which means you can't see them very clearly. The, the cheetah and the rock are in focus. So you look at them and they're very, you can see every detail. But the trees and the sky in the background is out of focus. So it's very hard to see. Okay, so this is a cheetah. The next one. Okay, we have a landscape picture now, and this is a photograph of a landscape. And in the picture, you can see some mountains in the background. There are some mountains in the background, and they are made of grey rock. And they are very jagged, which means they go uh, 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 jagged, jagged rocks. And at the top of the mountains, these are called peaks. So when you climb a mountain, you go up, you go to the peak of the mountain. You climb the mountain, you go to the peak of the mountain. Okay, you have a very nice blue sky in the background. Uh, you have a forest, and it looks like a very thick, very dense forest in the middle here. And it's dark green, and you can see the shadow from the light. Just like at the bottom of the picture, you can see the shadows just here. Okay, there is a light brown tree at the front of the picture, here. And 
in the shadows you have some grass. Grass is the short green, uh, I don't want to say plant, but it's the short green thing that grows in your garden on the side of the hill. People play football on grass. People lie down on the grass. Okay, so this is a landscape and you have mountains with peaks and a dense thick forest and some grass and a light brown tree and some shadows. Right, and the last picture we have here is an indoor picture. Again, it's in colour because you can see the blue colour in the background down here. And this is a picture from a concert. So this is a rock concert. And where the lights are in the background, you have very bright lights. This is where a band is playing. And all the people here at a concert are called an audience or a crowd. For example, if you are at a football match, they're called a crowd as well. Normally at a theatre or a concert, they are called an audience, but you can also call them a crowd. Now, you can see at the front of the picture here, there's one man and he has his arm in the air. He is excited or he's shouting something. Every, it's funny, no one else has apart from him. But it's a very big concert, there's many, many people there. And you can see it across the top here, there is something called a balcony. So you have one level at the bottom, a balcony and people at the top. And it's a sloping seating area and you can see here at the front as well it's sloping forward so the people are sitting so everyone can see everybody has a good view um, it's the people at the front for example there's lots of shadow behind each people because the lights are very bright and almost like a silhouette a silhouette is when you can see the shape of something but you can't see the detail because the light behind is so bright. Okay, so this is the last picture we are going to do today. So we have a concert with an audience and silhouettes and some shadows and there's a balcony. Yeah, okay. So this is everything for today. So I hope this helps and it gives you some extra vocabulary for describing things. Okay, have a nice day and I'll speak to you later. Bye bye.